Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Kamiya Simon Peter and let's proceed. All right. So I'm trying to minimize time and also make the video kind of entertaining. Hope I'm not very fast. However, if I'm fast, feel free to get me in the comment section below. Now I've almost tackled everything. That's why I'm going to gain speed. Now recently, uh, we added our, uh, our icons and uh, I added more to icons and I'm going to last add one last icon which is the menu icon or the settings icon, the one that is going to get us the drawer. Okay, so uh, that's easy. I'm going to go again to... So that's easy. I'm going to go again to my vector icons. And I have with me here, I have material design and then we have material design icons. Oh, sorry. So we have material design icons, there is material community, and then there is this uh, material. So this is material and then material community, something that sort I remember when we went to Expo, uh, not Expo, to our icons, we looked at, um, oh, where is the icons thing? In React Elements. We looked at material and then material community. So I have material icons and then material community. So I can come here and type home. Okay. And then I have the home icon here. So I have the home icon here. And I can choose if... So I have the home icon here. I can choose if I want the icon to be filled, outlined, rounded, okay? Uh, to, uh, to have a tone and then sharp. That's up to you. And then the moment you click on the icon, okay? Like this, you have the option here, down, okay? So it's just taking time to load. All right, here it is. And then you select the icon and then you download the PNG and you get the option, okay? So I do have my other material icons here and these ones all don't call for zip, but I can type the same here, home, okay? And then I'll get the different home tags, okay? So home, I just guess, yes, it's taking long to load, but you can see. Uh, there are different tags. There are more than those of material icon. So this one gives, provides you more. And uh, when you click on the icon like this, okay, then you get one, the sizes, two. Um, first of all, you get, do you want a vector that is drawable or something of the sort? And then the icon size, do you want it uh, outlined or you want it filled? Now, the moment I click on which one I want, it goes to the other side. All right, so what I want to do, I just want to get a menu, okay, menu icon. So I'm interested in this one, okay, so the Google menu. There are, however, others. I can also choose to have this or the settings icon. So it depends on you. So this can be one for others to show that there's continuity. And... Uh, so I, I do feel there are others you can use, but this one is more universal. So I can also use the settings, settings icon or what they call the cog. So you can see there are different icons. Okay. So I don't know if I call the cog, I'll get it. So let me just type the menu and I get this. Okay. So I can choose which one I want. Do I want it in white? Which one I'll take or... I want it in black. All right, so I usually download both. And I just say menu underscore black. So this has been white. <laughs> Let me just get sure. Okay, so I'll click on white. And I type menu underscore white. And then I save to that same directory. So which is in my own server. And then ww and then baby me and then up uh, assets icons I save and then I can also save menu black because I don't know when I'm, I'm, I'm making decisions 
of uh, what if I change the color to white and I need white, you know, uh, black icons. So that's why I'm downloading both. So I just need to change uh, one of them. Or you can even make uh, the uh, the person who is in the who is using the app to choose what theme they want to use, and then the icons will correspond according to the way you do your programming. Uh, basically, that's your decision. So I'll go to again and save black. All right, and I'm looking for it in Baby Me app assets icons, and then I save. All right, so I do have my icons. I'll just come back here. So I'm going to create the fourth icon, which is going to be the settings, and I'll put it here at the end. Or I can even put choose to put it up there. And then uh, I'm going. I'm just going to copy this touchable, and I require the same image because it's already in the same folder. And then I'll call it instead of chat, I'll call it menu white. And then I save. Right, so I expect to see it somewhere there, and there it is. So I'll need to, so we want, when we click this, it toggles the drawer. All right, so one other thing I want to look at is now, what if I give one icon here a background color? So I'll give it a style, a background color. Background, I'll put, okay, background is one word, background color and i'll give it a red for the moment then i save you can see that's not occupying everything that we have here see that so one one thing i want to talk about i remember talking about the flex and i was talking about the flex wrap okay so i already have the flex wrap here but what flex wrap would do in case i add more icons okay we're going to have icons I've added several of the menu icons, okay? So they are in the same row, okay? I've added flex to wrap, they're in the same row. I don't know if I, how many I need to add, but I would expect them now to, okay? So you can see, after creating like about 10, it has um, created one other row down there, okay? So that's what the flex wrap does. And we're going to be seeing it in our final app of baby me you get it so if i come and remove uh the flex wrap here and i save it is squeezing all the apps in one all the menu items in one row so that's the purpose of the flex wrap and then for us to be able to work on the content here we uh, justify content and stretch it we need to have our flex wrap all right i remember talking about highlighting about this in the first division all right so i'm going to undo so that we have back our four menus oh my god okay i'm still undoing this is one, two, three, four, and five. Great. All right. So the first thing we, do, we need to do, we, uh, the moment I choose that I want to, for example, I want to stretch the content. Okay. So I, I have the flex direction already. Uh, for example, I want to align items and then I stretch. You're going to see what is going to happen. Stretch. Okay, so it is stretching the uh, item top to bottom. Yet I want it to fill, and it is even putting it out of the alignment. Yet I want it to fill to have an even space from this place to the other place. Now, one thing I'm going to do uh, that will help us uh, determine the edge, so I'm going to come to each icon here. I add a style. First of all, I'm going to add um, the background color. Okay, then I'm going to add a border so border and i'll give the border width of one so width of one great so i want to have it border left sorry i'm going to have it border left so border width of one and then uh 
I, I want to have it border left. So border left. Okay. So border left with this border right. Come on. Border right, sorry. Border right. Okay. And then the other, I want to have it white. So border color. I'll keep it black for the moment. So border color. I'll have it black. Great. So I'll give the width of three just for it to be prominent as it can be seen there. So it's putting the border on all against the red. So one thing I want to do, I'm going to copy the style and copy it into the others. Copy the style and put it into the this onto this, and lastly, onto this. All right, so I'm just going to change the background color so that we have a difference, at least something that we can look at. So this will be uh, pink, and this other will be brown, and the other can be a blue. Hi. I'm briefly interrupting these videos to let you know of a list of videos that will help you create a working prototype to let you come from basics to intermediate. That will be followed by another list of videos that will help you work on a full e-commerce application. Please click the link in the description to go and watch those videos and support this channel. Thank you. Let's proceed. So for me to have the icons like cover up, okay, so I'm going to have uh, a flex grow, so flex grow, so the, the, the inner content of the item is going to grow, okay, onto the flex. Remember that our flex wrap is uh, on the, the whole class here, is on the whole view, okay. So it's going to grow, and I give it a, just a digit. Let me give it three. Okay, so you, as you can see, you can see that the, the item here has grown three of the four icons that we have, okay? So what if I give all of them three? I'll add this and then paste, paste. Okay, let me save on that. So you can see these two are stretching well, else the last one. Okay, and you can see the border is at the position. And then this, just like that. So which icon do you want to be prominent is what you can decide. So which means now I can come back here. Remember we aligned the, the items to stretch. Okay, one was stretching. Now, all of them are going to stretch, but and it will be evenly. So I'm going to align items. Align items. Where are you? So the items inside. You get it? Eh? So the items. So we are stretching the touchable opacity, not the image. We are stretching the touchable opacity. So align items, stretch. Yes, there we go. So what I need to do again is come down here, okay? And then I justify content, okay? And then I center it. So I'll justify. So I'll justify content. And then that will be center. Let me save. All right. So you can see we have it in the center. And then again, align items. So align items. Now I'm aligning the items inside the touchable opacity. So align items, again, center. So remember inside the touchable opacity, that's where the image is. So you can see now I have my uh, whatever background or filling that whole space of the view and then aligning items into the right, okay? So in the beginning, our app may not um, look so fast. I don't want to go straight into the app. 
uh, but please feel free to support. I've created a course, okay, about a basic app for the support. And then uh, when, when, you, when you go and apply or subscribe for that course, uh, the course is a one-time subscription uh, for three to four months, I'll, I'll, you'll receive my support channels, social media handles and whatsoever, and then I have one-on-one -on -one support for uh, for the basics and then i have again another course where i'm creating a full-time e-commerce platform called baby me but in the beginning we're going to be following a data gathering app just you know forum and whatsoever all right so i'm going to paste and then uh, again paste again paste and then to the last icon paste so when I save, I have all my icons in the center, apart from one here that I see, Justify Content Center. I don't know if I've done it to this. Okay. And now the reason why this is stretching here is because I've added it to the, <laughs> to the style of the image instead of adding it to the icon. All right. So let me just take off that. Then we have a uniform. So I've added it to the style here. Oh God. All right, so when I save everything should come back to normal. Hey, Mr. Icon. What is happening? Justify Content Center. All right, so I don't know why the change is not uh, getting done there. Did I add, okay, I also added the flex grow here. Okay, I'll take it off. All right, so we have our normal icons. So it's now time, if you want, you can go and change this from black to white or any other color that you feel is working it out with your application. Great, so I guess you get now whatever item I'm trying to present. So that is it with the icons. And uh, we've also looked at the flex wrap and we've also looked at the flex grow. We also have flex shrink. For example, if all these are three and their growth, growth is three, I can put a shrink and I shrink it by three, you can see. And that's the flex shrink, okay? So now these numbers are, uh, you can't have a growth and then you also, you know, uh, I think the, the, you've, you need to find a way of balancing these numbers. For example, if I give this more of a growth of five, uh, nothing is adjusting anymore or much. Uh, neither should it when I do a shrink here and I make it more than one uh, or less than three. All right, so I think that's it for now. Let's meet in the next module. Uh, where I'm going to now composite this so that it appears on each and every page. I'll also talk about in our other module uh, how we're going to create inner data. And then I'll start building our application.